Okay, so for this video, I will show you how to log into Newspaper Archive and just some of the basics. Um, so from the the main page at uh, altoonalibrary.org, um, if you hover your mouse over the Digital Library tab, uh, this drop-down menu will appear, and in the reference column um, at the bottom is the link to Newspaper Archive. Um, so if you click on that link, it will take you to this page where you'll enter your library barcode number. It's that number on the back of your card. Um, and what you're going to want to do is type in that entire number without any spaces and then hit submit. Uh, once you hit submit, it will take you to the sign in page um, where you'll, you'll put your um, email address and password. If this is the first time you're logging in this way, you'll need to register by clicking on this link down here. Um, make sure you are registering with an email address that you have access to uh, because immediately after registering you'll get a verification email uh, and in, in that email there'll be a link that you'll click on uh, that will activate your account. So after you go through that process you'll be able to log in directly with your email address and the password that you selected and then hit sign in. When you sign in, you'll be brought to uh, this homepage of Newspaper Archive. And from this page, you will be able to search um, a variety of different ways. Um, you can browse by location, uh, you can browse by date, or you can do a keyword search. And I will show you some of those uh, ways here in future videos. But for now, if we want to scroll down here, we can kind of see what you have access to. Um, our subscription only covers Pennsylvania newspapers, so if you click on that, um, you can see a list of all of the cities and towns that uh, we have newspapers for, what we have access to. Um, some of the most pertin pertinent uh, towns and cities uh, for our area would be Altoona, um, Bellwood, Bedford, uh, Huntington, Indiana, Johnstown. Um, so, for example, if we click on Altoona, we can see uh, a list of the newspapers uh, that are available. Now, these date ranges can be a little misleading. Um, so, it says uh, Altoona Mirror, 1876 to 2019. If we click on that, we can see uh, the full list. Basically, the further back in time you go, the less complete um, the archive is. So if we click on 1876, we can see that there's only one day from 1876 available, so December 2nd. Um, so let's look at 1898, uh, a little bit more complete than, uh, than the 1876 year. But even if we go further into even the 1990s, you may find that uh, randomly there are days that aren't included. Um, so I always, as a last resort, if I'm just kind of not getting any of the results that, that should be appearing or if I'm certain that something should be in, in the newspaper and it's not coming up, I like to double check to see if there are any gaps in the archive during the time that I'm looking um, because Obviously, if the day is not available, you won't get any search results. Um, so, if uh, in future videos, I will show you some other ways. But that is how you you log in and what are some of the some of the newspapers that are available for you to search. Thank you.